receiving teachers, receiving students, and six C's. Thank you. You may be seated. Now I'd like you to open your books to what you have learned in your previous lesson. And I've got a few questions to ask you as our recapping exercise. Now quickly, 60s and receiving students, what is perimeter? Who would like to give the definition of perimeter? Receiving students, I'd like you to read your definition loud and clear to your teacher. Sixes, can we have a volunteer to read to the class? Helen? Okay, let's hear from Helen. Perimeter is the total distance around the shape. Okay, very good. Let's give her five big claps. Perimeter is the total distance around a shape. That's what you have learned in your previous lesson. So class, perimeter is the distance, total distance around a shape. Now, I'd like you to quickly work out what is the perimeter of this square? Five centimeter, five centimeter. From your previous exercises, what were you doing? Having in mind, you have to write your formula. That will only give you two minutes, because it should be very easy. Receiving students, this is what you will be doing as your recapping exercise, finding the perimeter of the square. If you have finished, sit up straight. Okay, looking around, I can see that students are giving, showing signs that they have finished that exercise. Can we have a volunteer now to come up and so he so her working out on the board? Who would like to do that for us? Receiving students? You will be having a student now to come up and so he so her working out on the board. So receiving teacher, I'd like you to also choose a student who have finished to come up and display their working out on the whiteboard. Okay, let's have Victoria. You others, if you have finished, I'd like you to check your work to see that you have your working out the same as Victoria. Any more other working out? Okay, there are some students that are sewing faces when Victoria is or is writing her working out on the whiteboard. So who would like to come up and write his or her working out? Let's have a boy this time. Jason? Okay, 
Okay, 5 times 4 is equals to 20. Good. I can still see students putting their hands up. Okay, let's have Lorraine. Okay, thank you, Lorraine. Can we go through these three working out together on the whiteboard just to see where our friends have gone or maybe missed out some of their working out on the board? We all have the same answer, but the layout of their working out is different. Victoria has, has this way. She has written her working out in columns. And she came up with the answer as 20 centimeter. The answer is still correct. Now, class, what is missing? What is missing? You compare her working out to Lorraine's working out. What is missing? Victoria, can you tell us what have you missed out? On air. Help Victoria. Maybe she cannot see what she has missed out. Perimeter. Perimeter. Good. What am I really looking for? Perimeter has a, a method. Or what can we say? What did Lauren have here? What do we call that? Perimeter. Come on, sixes. What do you use when you are trying to work out a problem? Do you just go on into writing numbers? Receiving students, I hope you are giving your answers to your teacher. We are trying to find out what is missing from the two working out that we have on the whiteboard. Uh, Madhu or Minol? Equal sign. Equal sign. Okay, maybe we still cannot see where or what we have missed out. You compare these two working out here, are they the same as this working out? No. Why? For this case here, something is missing. And you can see from here, the shape that you are trying to find the perimeter of, or for. Here we have square. What is missing? What is the letter missing? U. U. So S Q U. A R E has four sides so that you know how many sides you are going to add in order to find the perimeter of that particular shape. So Lorraine have it there. It is missing from here. Then she's got the formula. Perimeter is equals to side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. Because you have already answered 
Perimeter is when you are calculating the total distance around a shape. So here, A square has four sides with the distance of the measurement of five centimeter each. I've got two measurements on the square there. The other two sides is missing. So when we talk about perimeter there, if I've given the two, A square has four equal side, meaning all the sides are going to be five centimeters. So what Lorraine have shown to us is what I was expecting six years and receiving students should have written out in your books. So your final answer should be 20 centimeters. We have Jason's working out here, but there's a concept missing here. So six years and receiving students, your correct working out to our recapping exercise is here that you should have in your books also. Avoid just writing out numbers because you might be confused again when we, you are going back re revisiting the type of exercise that you write. So thank you to Lorraine for the correct working out that she has shown on the board. So receiving students, I hope you have also have the same working out on your whiteboard so you may do your own corrections in your books. Now let's move on into what we have in front of us. Six is uh, receiving students. I hope your teacher have prepared a plain shape in front of you and also cut out squares, five centimeter by five centimeter. We will be doing this little activity before we go on into our lesson for today. So six is in front of you, you have the cutout squares. What I'll be expecting you to do is, I'd like you to work in groups, because the amount of time that I will be giving you to do the exercise would be limited. So firstly, I'd like you to have your blank shape in front of you. In front of you, you should have your blank shape of a square. You also have these cutouts in square. I'd like you to use this number of squares that you have in front of you, try to fill in the shape that you have in front of you. Inside the shape, I'd like you to paste those. So you use the glue to put a little bit at the back of the card, and then you paste inside the shape. I will give you two minutes to get that complete. I'd like you to fill in all parts of this shape using those cards. glue just a little bit make sure to try and fit all those little squares onto the blank shape that has been provided for you Everybody should be taking part in putting glue and pasting.
doesn't have to be exact. You are just trying to fill in the space on that shape. If you have finished, I'd like you to look at what you have formed on your paper. So I'll give you a different color. Okay. Just to fill in that gap. Okay, Michaelin's group have finished. Those others who are still working on this, please do make sure to get that complete. Okay, Michaelin, I'd like you to stand up with your completed chart just to show to the class what your group have come up with. Look at how they have placed their cutouts on that shape. They have fitted in all those squares in the shape that covered around the shape. So thank you, Michaelin's group. To those other group, we have the same thing as what Michaelin have. Well done. There's some students who are a bit careless by just pasting it anyhow on the shape. You're not going to learn anything if you are doing or doing such an activity like this, just placing the cards anyhow on the shape. It's got to be equally inside the shape itself, not sticking out of the square. Okay, another question. You have pasted those cards onto the shape. You have filled in the plain shape. I'd like you to count the number of squares that you have pasted. Rodney, how many squares have you pasted on the shape that you have in front of you? 25 paper. 25 paper. 25 papers. Okay, very good. Uh, do we all agree that we have pasted 25 yes. cards onto that shape? Yes, there were 25 cards given to you to fit onto the shape that was given to you. Okay, you have counted the number of squares, and there were 25 little squares that you have pasted. So the lesson topic for today is area. You'll be learning something new in this lesson topic. It's now a different concept. In your previous lesson, you, were, you learned something on perimeter, which you were adding the total sides of a particular shape. In area, it will be a bit different. We have already pasted the squares in our exercise book or on those activity sheets. In area, let's have a look at the main points that we need to really understand what an area is. Area is the number of square units. So those little squares that you have pasted on that plain shape represents Units, they come in square units. So the definition for area is the number of squares needed to cover a space. So we have the square unit here, one centimeter by one centimeter. So all these sides here is one centimeter in measurement. One centimeter by one centimeter when we are talking about area it is measured in square units so square units 
comes about when you are multiplying the same number by a same number how many times? Six years and receiving students. When you are multiplying a number by itself two times, it will give us a square unit. So in twos. Here are some of the metric units of area. So when you are trying to calculate the area of a shape, it must be in square centimeter. And this is how you should write it in symbol. CM and a small two. This two represents square and the unit that you are going to use. Or you can have it as square meter. M to the power of 2, or M squared. Square kilometer, KM2. That's when we are talking about area, measuring the area of a shape or anything that talks about area, it comes in this manner. Square centimeter, square meter, and square kilometer. Six is and receiving students do not forget. Your activity is very simple that it will only take you less than two to three minutes to get that complete. You have done that as your learning activity by pacing and counting. All I want you to do now is find the area of each figure in square centimeters. So make sure your answers are in square centimeter, the number of square. You are to count the number of squares that are being shown in each of those figures that have been shown on the screen. You have two exercises there.
should have completed these two exercises by now. Okay, we will go to the answer to these two exercises in our next lesson. So if you haven't completed these two exercises, I'd like you to complete that for homework. All you have to do is count the number of squares and then you write it out. And that gives you the area of that particular shape that has shown on the exercise. We will now move on to our summary point for our lesson for today. We have only two. Area is the number of square units needed to cover a space. That's right. Area is measured in square units. Quickly copy those two summary points down. And our key phrase for today's lesson is class F, read that from the PowerPoint. Square. square units. So when we talk about area, we are dealing with square units. So remember that. To the receiving teacher, our next lesson topic is on area of rectangles. Materials that you might need for the lesson are Chart sewing a rectangle shape, 5 centimeter by 4 centimeter. The formula for rectangle can be written on a flat card and also markers. With that, receiving students and 60s, thank you very much for your participation. We have come to the end of our lesson.